Yeah. But anyway, um, the question is, uh, the next question is, many of you are involved or aligned with the skepticism movement. How do you keep an open mind scientifically without using skepticism as an excuse for inaction? Can a person be a product, proactive skeptic? I think that's an interesting question. Are you question. kidding? I knew you so, thought. Uh, well, I think, Lawrence, uh, correct me, but people c confuse, and the modern word that's been made up is conflate the word cynicism with the word skepticism. Yeah. It's two different words. Yeah. But I mean, I know not uh, a lot of young people, but one is uh, you're not going to pay any attention to anything. You, you just think everything's screwed up and uh, nothing's ever going to work out right. That's cynicism. But skepticism is you're presented with evidence and you do your best to uh, draw conclusions based on that. So as the saying goes, uh, I am... Uh, Bill Nye, do you believe in ghosts? No. Uh, however, I'd love to see one. And bring it on. <laughs> and so, I am open-minded to the idea, but I, I, the more I look into it in the skeptical frame of uh, way of thinking, the less likely it seems. But bring it on. When I was young, <laughs> the universe was slowing down. Well, it turns out that's not, right? Mm -hmm. Do I run in circles screaming? Or do I go, that's cool. <laughs> but I do want to know why. Yeah. And, well, you know, and, and I think that's the point. It's being wrong is really the most exciting thing in oh, science. Yeah. And, and in fact, as I often say, you know, when, pe when I debate people, speaking of skepticism, there are people who don't accept the fact that evolution is a fact. And I've spent a, an undue amount of time in this country talking to those people. Well, talking to, <laughs> talking to school boards and others and government trying to get... Which I want to applaud. But yeah, anyway, but... But, 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 but there's, this, there's this illusion that we somehow have this pact that we shake hands when we get our PhD. We're, you know, we, evolution, no, can't question it. And, you know, we want to be right. And the people don't understand that the, the way to become <laughs> successful is to prove your colleagues wrong. That's the way to become a, a well-known scientist, is to make a discovery that proves wrong. So if there was something better than evolution, if it didn't work, you know, you'd be, Richard would be the first person to want to try and, and discover it, in a sense, because it would mean we'd learn something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think we can add something to that, which is that um, there's a, a, an attitude in the culture that says that everybody's entitled to their opinion, and you've got to respect their opinion. No, you damn well haven't got to respect their opinion. <laughs>